The life of David was characterized by praises to God. He lived a life of constant gratitude to God, which is why most of his psalms are reminiscent of God's past faithfulness and confidence in his ability to replicate what he has done and even do more. God magnifies his word above his name. What is God's word? His word is his promise concerning your life. Why are you then afraid when you have the same word of God that cannot fail given to you already? A verse in the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but not an iota of the word of God will pass away without being fulfilled. Are you weak and heavy laden? God says he will give you rest. Are you sick? God says he will heal you. Are you cast down and oppressed? God says he will lift you. Are you in debt and lack? God says he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. All these promises are unlimited, but sure and unfailing. Hold unto the word of God. It cannot fail. Psalm 138.3 NIV When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. Do you also believe there is a God in heaven that will not ignore the words of your prayers? He is ever attentive to your cry. Do you always pray with faith and confidence that your prayer reaches a God that cannot fail? God has promised to hear you when you call. He will make you strong and bold as you journey through life. It would be best if you believed these words of God. Psalm 138.7 NIV Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. God will deliver you from trouble, no matter how deep the mess you have fallen into, how twisted the situation is, or how dark the tunnel is. God is shining his light there, and he will stretch out his hand to save you. Although the enemies rise against you, God will deliver you by his mighty power and outstretched hand, if only you will believe in his ability and call out to him. Psalm 138.6 NIV Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. It is worth noting that as merciful, lowly, and compassionate as God is, there are certain sets of people he will never give ear to. This is partly because they will be too self-sufficient to call him, and also when they do, their hearts are filled with pride and high-mindedness. Check your heart today. That situation that seemed unchanged may be tied to the state of your heart. Is your confidence in God or yourself? Do you trust in the word of God to save you or your wisdom to handle the situation? Whatever height you have set your heart to, place it down at the foot of Jesus now and let him be the Lord over everything. God has respect for the lowly. He will hear their prayers and prioritize their need. God resists the proud. If you find yourself in this shoe, humbly come to him in repentance now, because the one that will resist you is not the devil or your enemies, but God himself. He will make sure that his word that says, pride goes before destruction, comes to pass. I'm sure you do not want to be destroyed. Rid your heart from every form of pride now and receive the grace that God gives abundantly to the humble. You are the works of God's hands. He made you by himself, formed you out of the dust, and breathed life into you. He will neither forsake nor forget you. Can a woman forget her suckling child? It might even happen that a woman forgets her suckling child, but God in his infinite mercy will not forget you. He will come through for you. He'll change your story. You will smile again. That test result will turn around for good. Sounds of new songs will be heard in your abode once again. Never lose faith. Keep trusting in the never-changing power of God, and you will see his salvation. Let us pray. Thank you, omnipotent God, omniscient Father, for being so good unto my family and me. I have enjoyed your mercy, grace, and goodness. I am here to return all the glory to you. I declare you 
as the Lord of my life, the Lord of the universe, and the Lord of all. I am not ashamed to say that you are the reason I am alive and the essence of my life. Without you, Jesus, I am nothing. I thank you for making my life meaningful. I make a promise as you will help me that I will worship you all of my days. I will not serve any idol in my heart. I will not be carried away with life that I will fail to give you your due reverence in my life. I will praise your name always for your loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank you for the power in your name. At the mention of your name, demons tremble. Lord, in my confused state, I called on your name and you shined your light on every darkness in my life. I thank you for the gift of this wonderful name that is greater and higher than every other name on earth. Your name never fails. It has worked wonders in my life in the past, and I know it will continue to work wonders. Lord, you hear me whenever I call and deliver me from trouble. You are the surest place that gives help without worries. Lord, I lift my finances before you. I cry to you today that you should bless the works of my hands. Please, Lord, let me swim in abundance. Take this reproach of poverty, want, and lack away from me. Bless my barn and storehouses. Let my cup run over with good things and divine blessings. Father, my marriage is in shambles. There is nothing too broken for you to fix. Fix us up, O oh Lord. Restore the love, joy, peace, and trust we need to keep this home together. Help us stand together as one and fight every enemy that wants to break us apart. Jesus, heal my body, soul, and spirit. Take away this constant pain. I cry out to you for help right now. Restore health in my body. Let the strength of the Lord pass through my body. Let every organ and vessel in my body receive the strength of the Lord to function correctly. O oh God of restoration, restore life into every organ in my body which has been damaged and not working well. Let them begin to function rightly. Every growth or stranger growing in any part of my body, because the Lord is my God, I speak against you. Get out now in Jesus' name. My career is in your hands, Jesus. You are the source of true success and unlimited growth. I want to advance and make remarkable achievements. Father, hold my hands, O oh God. Help me to do all that is needed to do. Send helpers to me on this journey. Connect me with great people that will help me on this path to success. At the end of everything, all glory will be yours, Lord. I commit my family to your hands, Lord. Be our strong tower in this world of battles. Keep us safe and preserve us in this world of evil happenings. Save us from every conspiracy of Satan against our well-being. Help us walk with you in the way that will please you. And as Joshua declared that he and his household would serve the Lord, I also declare by your grace that my family and I will serve you with everything that we have until we take our last breath. We will never stop praising your name. Jesus, I stand before you on behalf of my children. Guide them, Lord. Help them to make the right choices in life. They are faced with fierce temptations daily that seem to get the best of them. Help them to overcome every temptation. Help them stand strong in the face of opposition from friends and the world. Lord, strengthen them in their weak moments and be to them all that I can't be to them, in Jesus' name. Father, may my light shine for the world to see. Do a new thing in my life that will bring kings and nobles to worship you. They will know of your great power and ability through me. They will be convinced about your sovereignty when they see the tremendous things you'll do in my life. Make me a source of reference for your greatness to the world, in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask for the grace to remain humble and never reach the point where I will ascribe the glory of God to myself. I know you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. 
Let this spirit of humility in me remain. Let me grow more humble so that the higher you take me, the more humble I become. I will not fall victim to the web of pride that made some people you've lifted fall short of your glory. Hold my hands, Jesus, and see me through. Thank you, Jesus, for your mighty hands of deliverance that have reached out to me in the past. Thank you for standing up for me in the face of fierce battles and the torment of the enemy. My heart is glad, and I rejoice for this that you've done. Now, in faith, I pray that you will save me from trouble. Deliver me from the hands of the wicked ones. Preserve me from the arrows of the enemy. Save me by your power. My confidence in you lies in the strength that you cannot fail. You do not say what you cannot do. As you have promised me, help me call out to you in trouble. Lord, you said you would perfect all that concerns me. Lord, I bring everything that I am before you today, my life, career, family, friends, and all that pertains to me. Perfect them, Lord. Take away everything you've not orchestrated and let everything be how it should be. Father, do not forsake me. Never let me walk alone. Be my guide and shield through my journey in this world. Help me to sail successfully. Preserve me in righteousness and let my heart forever seek you. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy endures forever. Your faithfulness and goodness never run out. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you for hearing my cry and saving me from trouble. Thank you for this grace to cry out, Abba, Father. I am grateful, Lord. As I step out today, I step into favor, abundance, and every positive thing you have promised in your word, in Jesus' name. Amen.